Hello and welcome to Miniatures Assemble. Today we'll be continuing our Word of Blake series once again with the Preta Kendali. Let's get started. Okay, as you can see we have the model here. We have a hex base for the map usage. We do have a base this time. We have two legs and a hip. Um, we have two little inserts that go on the bottom. We have arms and then we have the hands and pieces. So let's start off from the gr let's start off with the rather s tinier ones so we can get that out of the way. And then we'll attach the hip and then we'll attach the hip to here. These ones do go in a these little things do go in a specific direction. Um, the two lines that run along it are going to be facing outward. Okay, and then we'll attach the hip. This does go where the, the little extension on this end does go towards the front towards the front of the mech, and then this part here will be going towards the back. Okay. From there we will from there let's attach the feet onto here. Again, all these are uh, this is a chicken again, this is a chicken walker design, so the knees will be going backward. And with this one, I'm going to be tipping the model down a little bit just so these little in little things sticking out the back are gonna are gonna show on the Mac better. Okay. Now we'll get the other now we'll get the other leg. Okay. And there we have that. Now we'll move on to the now we'll move on to the arms. So Note that this is actually that these are actually keyed, where you have the hole here, and then you have a hole here. So this one's actually going to have a hole. Yep, right here. Uh, these ones do ha um, can be re these ones can actually be reversed, but typically the indentation on the toward goes towards the front. So this is actually going to fit on one side better over another. And just so I'm not gluing my finger every single time I'm putting it on, I'm going to get the other side. Let's get the hand. This is going to be going on the left side of the. This is going to be going on the left side. Okay, and then we'll get to the can to the can and to the variable speed laser on the other side. Okay. 
little tip so you don't recreate this. It's probably better to glue it and glue the weapon right to the arm and then stick it on the joint. But at that point you do end up but at that point you do end up risking it when it goes on it ends up being it might be pointed downward or pointed upward. It might not be pointed straight. And again, that's up to you. Okay. In which case, you'll see we do have some flat feet on here. Um, now, if you notice, we are a little bit heavy on, we are a little bit lopsided. So what we'll do to balance this out, besides the hex base, is to put it on the here you'll see this is actually a, there's a raised feature here. I'll just put I'll just glue the feet and put it on the put it on the base. And when you're fitting it on here again, make sure it's facing forward. Towards at least towards one of the towards one of the sides. So as you can see, we do have an extra part again here. Um, we have some kind of little laser that probably go that probably goes on a different configuration of this. Um, like the other ones, we actually did get like the other ones. We actually do have extra parts, and that's just for various other configurations of this of this mech. Okay, with that glued on the base, you'll see that again this is a this has a, a small inset. So we'll be taking the glue and just gluing all around all around the outer edge. Taking a smattering of glue and putting it in there. And there we have our completed pre die. It's all set for all set for painting. Once again, we'll just take this spare one spare part and just put it off to the side. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that very informative. Please like the video if you liked it, and be sure to subscribe to see more videos. Please leave a comment or a suggestion in the comments section, and we'll see you next time.